yes, yes, yes. Have a good day now. I can help who's next. Oh, how are you today? Oh, I'm, I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. Oh, did you find everything okay? I always find too much. That's, now you sound like me. Huh? Oh, these are, these are gorgeous. Ralph Lauren, nice, nice pick, nice pick. Let's see, so thirteen ninety nine, okay. Is uh this plastic back okay for you? Oh this got it sometimes people uh people are very sensitive about that. Oh. Oh this is nice as well. What is this? Oh it's uh Jose Banks, nice. for a while yeah <laughs> uh, it's just uh, kind of the pretentious people who listen to him actually say his own name he says Ralph Lauren so I was like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with how he does it Let's see, okay so we have a uh, 9.99 wonderful wonderful just making sure they match okay right. do you have a uh, Rewards card with us. No. Okay. No problem. No problem. Oh. Yeah. 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 We keep a lot of a lot of extra stuff up here at the front. Yeah. Well, you want me to show you some of them? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's no problem. Um, so yeah, we we keep some of our like I guess you know some more of our higher you know ticket items. Um, maybe just stuff that we just got that uh, just haven't sorted through yet so yeah we, we keep some of this like for instance we just got these these aren't like our high ticket items but yeah we got like a couple cds i got some country cds travis tritt uh, got a <laughs> you see somebody um you get these a lot people who got gifted these for christmas and never are going to listen to them so like they'll bring them to the thrift shop uh, same same guy i think brought this in so trisha yearwood another country singer yeah bbc wine in mary uh, chapin carpenter i actually never heard of this person hmm. but yeah like so uh, this is it's not stuff that's like art super high end or anything like we're not trying to keep it back here it's just uh, just got this in and actually you might find this interesting i don't know are you uh like a wrestling fan like wwe wwf stuff yes no used to be yeah that, that's pretty that's pretty common answer uh, so like we got this um the person came in and brought like 30 wrestling dvds and uh i'm most of them I have sorted and priced, but I'm still working on these. This is a um, ladder match. This is uh, actually really cool. This is like all of the greatest ladder matches. Um, so this is like all the greatest ladder matches ever. And we got like John Cena versus Edge, Jeff Hardy, Johnny Nitro, like all of the things uh, stemming from. 1979. 1979 was the the very first one going all the way up to like 2010. So that's actually pretty cool. And then we have just some like random pay-per-views. This is Vengeance from uh, three hours 2005. I got that one from 2005. Like just kind of kind of like obscure stuff and this is uh, King of the Ring and uh, Brock Lesnar went back when he was like uh, peeled off the tree just like 
juice in every day, all day. I'm not saying that he's not now, but he was a monster then in 2002. So probably will sit on this show for a while because there's not that many people interested in 20 year old wrestling DVDs but uh, some people might well, speaking of juice I didn't even notice that look at Triple H oh my gosh a man needs a freaking double D bra for those things um, might like sit on the shelves for a while but you never like some people might come in and it makes them remember their childhood so they probably price those at like two bucks each and uh that might be more actually than what we do but oh, and then um the same same uh individual brought in some games too i guess he was an assassin's creed fan so he brought in uh, black flag assassin's creed black flag which i don't know if you've ever played but i think could be my favorite Assassin's Creed, I know, I like, you're not supposed to say that, but I think it's really, really good, you're a pirate, and just sailing around is so much fun, and then occasionally, we don't get them often, we get a lot of used collections, like older collections, but every now and again we will get, like, the occasional PS5, um, or Xbox One games, and this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I think he said that he was turning this in because it's offered on the game store now. So that's a lot of that, but physical media, that's like Best Buy pulled out of physical media. It's just it's an awful idea because when you're so reliant on these streaming services having this stuff, like you don't own the videos you don't own the games and if that was to be scrubbed from the service it's gone like forever you have the dvd or you have the game you own it forever i'm gonna get off my soapbox and then uh, we also have a controller that he he turned in and um, the buttons actually work pretty good reflects that so uh, this one 
is CK1. This was a 1990s, 80s, late 80s, I think, cologne, early 90s, and lots of notes, super fresh, super citrusy. You can tell there's still a lot in there, and I really like this bottle, see if you... I really like that. And then, see, so this is kind of cool. This is if you tip it. so cool so i love this one, like frosted uh so yeah 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 here's a yeah smell that yeah, isn't that good right so yeah we have some some uh pretty good fragrances uh, we actually have some you know the benefit of uh shopping used uh, shopping at a, a thrift store like this is uh, sometimes you can come across these hidden gems and uh, this is one of them this is actually uh discontinued and uh, people say that this is the best Giorgio Armani uh, cologne specifically Aqua de Gio this is their profumo yeah yes yes yeah okay ready One. there you go yeah right it's just super super good and you know no longer uh, a thing anymore um, so it's got this plastic bag or bottle We only have one other one up here, and it's kind of a newer one. Um, probably heard of it, Sauvage, and it was about mm, a little over half left. So, you know, you pick this guy up brand new for 120 bucks, or you can get it here for uh, 39.99, uh, and save a lot of money. And this will go a long way. So, I'll get let you try this one. Yeah, yeah, very familiar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a very, very popular fragrance. So, yeah. So, we got we have those three fragrances right now. Um, just like you probably didn't know, you could uh, buy fragrances at thrift stores. A lot of people don't realize that they can give fragrances to thrift stores. So, because of that, you usually don't have a lot of of fragrances and I'll be honest with you I usually buy them <laughs> so uh, I, I'm a bit of a, a fragrance head myself um, we actually have something I'm, I was told not to touch it uh, because I am very clumsy but uh, this while we're on the subject of culture and what is and isn't in thrift stores I actually have a really interesting thing that just got in. People do this now. Let me let me show you. So So yeah, I'm I'm not supposed to touch this, but I'm going to. Look at this. So This is the Millennium Falcon Lego set. Isn't this cool? So, complete set. Um, we're selling it as is. We could, you know, break it down. We have the original box and the uh, pamphlet and everything, but, uh, you know, selling it as is for those individuals who just want to display it. Uh, no reason to make those kind of individuals rebuild the whole thing again. So, you have this, and then you have these these things pop off and then you can see inside and there's a whole little ecosystem going on in there so um, Han Solo, Chewbacca like just a super super cool and believe it or not like Lego sets like this are pretty common in thrift stores, uh, but a classic. I'm gonna put this down now. Ha, so take that mark, I didn't drop it. Uh, really, really cool. The only 
what I think that's cooler that we've ever had here is um, the Hogwarts castle. That thing was awesome, but the Millennium Falcon is pretty freaking cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think we are asking $100 on that. with the box it comes with the um original um what is it booklet i guess instructional booklet i don't know what they're called forgive me if that's wrong so okay um we also have some jewelry up here if you're interested in that so we have these very very common uh invictus invictus and i really like the invictus so Invictus were kind of a spoof on, not a spoof, but a clone of uh, Rolex when the first came out. You can see. signature line um, really cool uh, chronograph I'll give you a little bit of a closer look so that's it right there uh, the original um, chain or the original bracelet um, was swapped out but we we included it's in there uh, as well as the original paperwork and uh, warranty information and, and all of that kind of stuff so uh, chronograph means that it has these little like tiny stopwatches and you can time it to you know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, um, and the like. So uh, all of our, our watches, um, I guess people that collect watches typically uh, keep the box. So um, all the watches that we've had, with the exception of like maybe two, have all had original papers and boxes. So they, they can keep their value very well, which is another reason why they're a decent investment is if you trade them well and you keep the original box and everything uh, they keep their keep their value and then invicta is usually known for having these uh, bright yellow bright yellow boxes and this one is sort of the uh, carbon copy of a submariner by rolex and just about everything about this is Rolex, yeah, other than the Invicta logo. And what I really like about this one in particular, if I can show you, this is what you call a mechanical watch. So there's no batteries. Instead, there's a pendulum. And that pendulum will move with your wrist whenever you move it. The pendulum will move and what it's doing is it's winding itself and so as you can see there the minute hand is stopped or the second hand is stopped but if I move this around I will cause through kinetic energy that winding and the twisting and as you can see now the second hand is moving so uh, typically when you, you know, get these they, they um, will require being reset a lot because not everybody wears a watch every day and not everybody wears the same watch every day so even if you do wear a watch every day you might swap them out and uh, because of that you might let a watch go for a day and most of these guys have a 12 to 24 hour reserve so after that time the time is going to stop, which means you'll have to reset your time every single time you wear the watch, unless you wear it every day, but I think they're really, really cool and uh, very affordable. The 
this. Um, first Rolex was a uh, first Rolex. First Invicta was uh, sixty nine ninety nine, and the uh, one in the yellow box I just showed you is forty nine ninety nine. So very cost efficient as well. And uh, we also have. I'm running out of stuff to show you. And I'm excited. Uh, we also have musical instruments. So um, it's very very common that you know kids will take up an instrument. And the, the parent will uh, buy the size that they need. They'll outgrow it, and so then they'll look to sell it. It's even more common that parents will buy kids' instruments, and they'll never use it. So then they give it to us, uh, which is, I guess, good. Uh, we, we can make the instruments much more affordable for people who are, really want to get into it but can't afford it. So uh, we have this. This comes in a hard case, as you see. It's got a zipper and a place for music and whatnot. feel like I'm proposing when I do this. <laughs> and there you have the violin. So this particular one than a few times to get good at that. This particular violin is a, a Gunter Maybach. This is a perfect student violin. It's got this uh, made of maple on the bag, so it has this sort of um, what they call flames. And it's got a spruce top. And it's got four strings. G, D, A, E, and the strings are, um, actually, you, you might find this interesting, uh, the strings are actually made out of gut, so whatever strings first, um, you know, became a thing, stringed instruments, they used to make them out of, um, cat guts, and, uh, these are not made of cat, these are made out of sheep, but these are actually, um, guts and nobody uses gut strings anymore but apparently the person that had this before did um, so this is a uh, about a two thousand dollar instrument and uh, we have it going for 500 so you know it's a good deal it's a good deal but obviously obviously if you're looking at getting into um, the violin <laughs> it's not a great deal if you're not looking at getting into playing music but we do have these musical instruments. So let me put this back in. Okay, so yeah, we, we occasionally will also get in saxophones uh, and trumpets are also very common. Uh, so if you've you know, ever wanted a saxophone or a trumpet or, you know, maybe you just, um, more affordability, you just want to get something you can afford and try it, you know, come back and see us. We always have something. So, uh, yes, yeah, so jackets and uh, shoes are in the bag. Is there anything else that I can show you or um, that you 
I can't find that you want to see. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon is really cool. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. You can go and tell my manager that I did a great job. Uh, and wouldn't you know, we still uh, we beat the, the sands of time here. It's still going, so that's wonderful. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's great. So, Okay, so that's all you wanted to spend today. That's totally fine. Um, but now that you've seen all we have, definitely come back definitely come back and check us out you know we have we have so many cool things so then things people would never think of so yeah what's the saying one man's trash is another man's treasure and we are rich with treasure here that's <laughs> wonderful this is your bag there's nothing else okay perfect i will see you hopefully soon and uh maybe i'll have some more cool stuff to show you all right take care